So Eric, tell me a bit about these paddles. Look like you have half a paddle here. What is this? Yeah, so these are the Aquabound Shred Apart uh, paddles. And what's cool about these, here, come on, I'm gonna show you. Um, they were actually designed uh, for Aquabound by Alpaca Raft, specifically for uh, their tandem boats, like the Forager and like another model called the Oryx. So as you can see, they, they really look a lot like canoe paddles, mm -hmm. but again, they're breakdown for easy travel because you could paddle the Forager with a canoe paddle and you can sit up here and if you're on a nice, chill, uh, placid river, or if you're on a lake, you can paddle with a canoe paddle like this. You can paddle with a canoe paddle in whitewater too. You can really get down in here and paddle whitewater with the canoe paddle. Some people prefer to paddle these tandems with the canoe paddle or with this paddle in its canoe configuration. Gotcha. Because the neat thing about this, again, for easy travel, these break down into three pieces each, so you can travel with them easily. Or what's really neat is you can take these two canoe paddles, take the T-grips off of them and turn it into one, big one paddle. kayak paddle. So what that, that affords you a little bit of flexibility um, that you can choose to paddle in that canoe configuration or switch to a kayak paddle configuration, which I know a lot of adventure racers prefer to paddle with kayak paddles. They like it, they're more comfortable with it. And in this configuration, this is actually a 240 centimeter kayak paddle. Uh, and I talked a lot about 200 with respect to uh, solo pack rafting. I think that's the correct length uh, or a really good length for most people. For this tandem boat, because you can see my seated position is much higher, the tubes are bigger, fatter, wider. You need a paddle with a longer reach than 200 to really get down there in the water. With a 200 centimeter paddle, it's just gonna be too short. I think 240 is a good angle uh, for this type of boat. And then actually that does give you a slightly lower angle paddle stroke, which you can get away with in a tandem boat because they're slightly less wiggly Got it. Than, a, than a solo boat. So this is a really innovative design. I think it was really clever of Alpaca and of Aquabound to have come up with this. So really neat.